So if you have an existing vertical alignment, one that you've, you've designed and you want to show the existing terrain, you need to be able to add a second line in Excel. And I've got the data here, these columns F and G that show the existing terrain elevation at the stations along this roadway. And so we're just going to work on adding those points to this graph. So there's a few ways you can do it. We're going to just add the data by doing select data. And we've got an existing series for our vertical alignment. I may change that name to say design, vertical alignment design. And then we're going to want to add one for our existing ground elevations. So our X values are going to be our stationing and our Y values will be our elevation. And now we see both of them. Because we've got multiple lines, we need to have a legend here. So I'm going to add that element. And usually I'll have this where it overlays the graph, but also want to really emphasize my proposed design, the vertical alignment design, and de-emphasize the ground elevation. So what I'll probably do is come back here and format this data series. And what I'll probably do is make this a dashed line. And again, that way we're seeing our our design much more prominent, and you can even make that thicker if you want to make sure that really stands out. And again, we've got our legend here that, that's showing this, and we can see how our design interacts with the existing terrain. We can see in some areas we're above, some we're below, some we're really close. And just again, a way to, to add this another line to an Excel graph. 